I was just wondering, in light of uh, recent events, what your guys' thoughts on Roy Hargrove. Uh, oh, I was gonna save that for the end. Oh, that's, I'm that's, sorry. <laughs> that's really depressing. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking because we were talking about. I can move this portion to the end. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, I think, I don't know if we mentioned him, I probably did in the Trumpet cast, but if people watch that, they know that I'm not a fan of him. Um, however, I am very sad about his death. Um, it kind of hit me really hard. It was just the first thing I saw in the morning. Of course, it was on the ship posting page, so I had to make sure it was actually real. Yeah, right. But um, and it was, it, that's rough. He was always a guy, he... I love people that have unique sounds and he definitely had that. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people actually, I, I guess gave him shit for this, but the Strasbourg St. Denis, that that's probably my favorite track from him. No, I was actually listening to a track a c- couple days ago and I was like, man, who is this really? Oh, it's a, uh, it was straight. No chaser by Eldar. I think I don't mm. some pianist, but uh Roy Hargrove was playing trumpet on it is really good but yeah i'm very saddened by his loss as a fellow trumpet player he was definitely one of the great ones he had a lot of uh, uh specific opinions you know and he he definitely like like with that unique sound comes with like you know that same type of unique personality you know and i think mm-hmm. i think he definitely I think it, we can all look at the loss of of great music and and feel some sort of sympathy you know like Mm-hmm. It, it's such a shame, you know, someone who, who died, how, how old was he? Like 49? 49, yeah. 49, 49 you know, like that's, yeah. that's, I mean, like, I, I know that's not like super young, but like, you know, that's still like 40 years, like 35 to 40 years potentially gone, you know? Yeah. And he still had a long way to go. Yeah. He, he definitely had like a hand in a lot of different like albums. Like I'm pretty sure he played for Continuum on John Mayer's album. Mm. if i'm not mistaken as well and so i mean that 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 album um i i had a, i went through a huge john mayer phase in in late high school it's to, even to now actually but um you know i've i've always you know i've always liked strawberry obviously strawberry strawberg saint denis excuse me it's a really really great chart that's probably one of my favorites too by him but still it's just a, a really unfortunate situation it, it's a fun place to be it's a fun place yeah, the only thing I really like listened from him was his album The Vibe. One of my uh, buddies, who's a lot older than I, that I play with in a big band, lent me that CD, uh, which has like Antonio Hart on it as well. He plays alto on there too, and I like listened to that album like in my car for like six months straight. So damn. <laughs> other than that album, though, I haven't really listened to him very much. So like when I saw that in the morning, I was just like. She's like, I, I never really get hit hard with like celebrity deaths or anything, but that was actually the one where I was like, dang, that really sucks. Yeah. 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 I, re- I remember when uh, Hugh Masekela died and I was so upset. He was one of my favorites. He also had, uh, I think he started this newish band, maybe newish. Uh, like, I only discovered them like earlier in the summer, the RP Project. RP Project. Not the RH factor. Or no, wait, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that's yeah, that's his group. Idiot. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Crazy Race, that one song. Oh dang, never mind. This isn't new at all. My bad. Yeah. Anyway, it's new <laughs> to me, and I was like, damn, this shit is tight. That's okay. Everyone discovers music at their own pace. Anyway, rest rest in peace, Roy Hargrove. 